Okay, just let us know. All right, thanks a lot, and welcome to Albany State University, Albany, Georgia. This is the 2017 Blue and Gold Spring Game for the Golden Rams, and we've been waiting because this has been extended. Uh, we thought we'd be doing this about a month ago, but, hey, today is the big day as interim head coach Anthony Kelly and the Golden Rams. It's going to be really an offense versus defense battle going on today. I'm Fred Suttles with Coach Jesse Massey. Coach Massey, how you doing? Look, at, we don't want to leave Norman out, our sidekick. He's over there doing the announcing for the yeah. other side. So we're all here, and we're all excited to see what we got here from the spring. You, you want to carry over and try to make – get people personnel in the places for the fall. And that means a lot for Coach Kelly and these guys to make sure they're in the right place, putting the personnel in the right place. And Stratford, it's, it's, it's his show today. You see how well he's going to communicate with his backs and receivers and linemen. We're coming off a five and four season uh, last year, and uh, we thought that we almost had the SIAC East wrapped up Planted a championship game. Didn't work out like that. But, hey, you come back and do it again this year. And uh, a lot of things have happened in the offseason. Yes. Of course, with uh, Coach Dan Land uh, resigning as a head coach. And uh, a new coach to be named coming in. So, a lot of, you know, questions and things uh, to be answered over the summer. And I'm sure very shortly. Uh, so, we'll be looking at a somewhat new team. But as of right now, uh, we definitely want to take a look at what we have on the field. And you'll see there's a lot of talent coming back on both sides of the ball. But you talked about it. You already mentioned Charles Stafford, uh, the, the quarterback. He's a guy we've been waiting, and I understand that he's really been working hard, okay. looking good all spring. Okay, and, and that's important because it's hometown boy. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and that means everybody's going to come out and watch to see the hometown product. And we, we got a bunch of starters back, don't we, Fred? A lot of kids back yeah, we on do. both offense, offense and decent, defensive side of the ball. And we'll go through that in just a moment. Now, this is the blue and gold spring game, and this format is really offense versus defense, the offense in gold, defense in blue. And the ball will start at the twenty yard line and that's on the uh on your you know, on your back twenty. You got eighty yard field in okay, front of you. Backside twenty. Yeah. yeah, and the ball will move up five yards for each series. And it's uh gonna be three different quarters uh to be uh each quarter is going to have 20 plays, first quarter, second quarter, and the third quarter. And then the fourth quarter will be two two-minute drill sequences. So, okay. uh, And they have a lot of different ways to score. So we'll quickly kind of run through it. Uh, when the offense is out there, and, of course, it doesn't matter, offense, defense, you can score whether you're on offense or defense. So the offense can score six points with the touchdown, uh, one point with the point after, PAT. A field goal is worth three points. If they Every first down is worth a point. If they have a run over 20 yards, it's a three yard, uh, three points that is. Passes over 25 yards, three points, and a run over 10 yards is two points. And the tackle for loss is worth one point. Okay. Yeah. So you got a lot of ways to score here offensively. When you pick it up and pick six and go with it, the interception and that kind of thing right there. But the, the Rams are, are really looking for putting the right pieces in place for the fall. That's what we're here really doing the spring game for. And last season, Caleb Edmonds was the, lead, as the starting quarterback, and Charles Stafford was his backup. He only threw six passes. It was exactly. four out of six. But he's got an arm. We knew that when he was at Monroe High. We knew that when he came in and – uh, he, he's really, really been gunning it over the, the spring, and we really get a good look at him. He's going to be wearing uh, – pick him up out there. He is wearing jersey number 12 out there, and we'll actually should get to see all three quarterbacks. So Stafford is – of course, we anticipate him being the starter out there today, but we also have a, a, a couple of freshmen. We've been waiting to see what these young men could do, and they're redshirt freshmen. Okay. Uh, Chancellor Johnson, okay. uh, he's actually playing baseball this season as well. Chancellor from Wilford. And you know. Chancellor Johnson up from around Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, don't have my detail roster in front of me. Okay. Uh, also, out of Jacksonville, Billy Cobb. I saw his daddy on my way in. So, okay. uh, he's outside the Billy Cobb seniors, but Billy Cobb Jr. is out there. So, we, we should get a, a, a good look at the uh, – the quarterbacks uh, and, and through these different series. So, a, a lot of things to look forward to. But, Coach, 
In a game like this, what do you want to see if you're the head coach? Uh, what, what I'm looking for is uh, defensive situations as far as if it's third and seven, what kind of defense we're going to run, offense, what we're going to go against them and, and trying to get a first down. Just combinations. You're looking for that player that's going to be a standout, that player that gets to the ball, that defense that holds them with third and two. That's what you're looking for. And you're looking for that back to, to get up in there and run hard tight between the tackles to get that third and two first down. So there's a lot of tangibles there that their coaches are looking at to make sure the Rams are ready for the fall. Right, and this is the culmination of the uh, spring practice and workouts. And when we, co- you know, they come back, they report back over the summer, and we yes, get sir. into August, it'll be the real deal as we get ready to head into the season. And we can go ahead and look as uh, they're still doing some warm-ups on the field. Look at the 2017 schedule. Whoa. Now, one thing a lot of fans wanted to know, can we get more home games? This year we got five home games. And the first one, uh, on Labor Day weekend, we kick off the game on September the 2nd versus Van Austin State University. It's going to be a 7 o'clock kickoff right here at the ASU Coliseum. And followed up on September the 9th, uh, we'll be taking on Tuskegee University, and that's in the Whitewater Classic in okay. Phoenix City, Alabama. And September 16th, uh, the University of North Greenville. All right. Played them a few times. They're yes, coming to Albany, and that'll be a home game for ASU on the 16th of September at 7 o'clock. After that, we go up to Carrollton, Georgia, to take on the Wolves of the University of West Georgia. Georgia been a long time since we've been up there but we'll be heading up there on the 23rd of september on the 30th of september it'll be a road trip to birmingham fairfair alabama taking on the miles college golden bears always that's, a tough one yeah and that's the longest road trip of the year uh-huh that's a good thing that's a good that's thing. only four hours oh yeah then steve smith new team the head coach uh, he was our former offensive coordinator steve smith's at the university of lincoln in missouri they're going to be in albany on october the 7th that's a home game for us a two o'clock kickoff and then the big one, homecoming, October yep. the 14th. We're going to be hosting the Morehouse College Maroon Tigers, and that'll be 2 o'clock kickoff on homecoming. And then we make that trip up to Atlanta on the 21st of October, taking on Clark Atlanta, 2 o'clock kickoff there. And then Coach Mike White comes back on uh, October 28th, 28th, the Benedict College Tigers, and that'll be a 2 p.m. kickoff on October 28th. And then it's the big Fountain City Classic to wrap up the season on November 4th against our biggest foe, Fort Valley State University. And uh, we look forward to this 2017 football schedule. So, hey. Boy, we got a slate, don't we? It's out there. The NFL (laughs) schedule's out there, so make your plans. Make your plans. We get into you early because those are a lot of competitive games for the Rams, and they got to really be ready for that coming week to get ready to play. Right, right. I want to congratulate the Albany State University golf team. Coach Hilton and the golf team, first ever Season. This is the inaugural season for us having golf at Albany State University and the SIAC champions, and that that's that's huge. Look, Hilton, uh, we appreciate what you did. That's huge for to come in, win the conference the very first year by a lot of strokes. And and if you don't understand golf, you win with negative strokes. If you got a lot of positive, it's like cross country. The higher the stick you get, the worse it is. So congratulations, to Coach Hilton, and. Uh, Mighty Golden Rams for winning the golf championship. Right. And we hope to get some more this spring. Uh, Coach Taylor. Yes. Uh, they, that's going to be here now, Fred. Yeah, we're they, hosting that. We're hosting the SIAC. And I'll be there. I'm working. Yeah. That's the first weekend in May. Yes, it is. Ho- hosting the SIAC uh, track and field championships. They'll be on at Hugh Mills and at Albany State. Yes. Uh, so it's going to be huge. And uh, we look to hopefully we can win the men and women. And also, uh, we look to do well in softball and baseball. Exactly. So, a lot of things are happening at ASU, which is in the positive aspects. We just need you to get on board and, and, and support this, this university. All right. And uh, we do have officials today uh, with this uh, being the spring game. So, uh, we believe it's an SIAC crew. Don't have the details on them, but uh, officials on the field. And, of course, a lot of different ways. Again, we mentioned for both teams to score, and the winner is going to get a nice – Meal. That's yes. normally how they work this yeah, out. Yeah, a nice meal. Steak dinner, right? Steak dinner, I believe. <laughs> the losers get hot dogs. Hey, I seen them cooking them outside. I tasted them. They're good, too. But ain't good at that steak. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. And we do have fans here. We have the quarterback club members are here. There's some uh, fans rolling in today. So we uh, look to get a decent crowd. It's kind of warm today. We, oh. we get rain tomorrow. <laughs> but today is going to be in the, a little bit in the upper 80s. So, of course, uh, if you're anywhere, from, if you're from around South Georgia, wherever, we're used to the weather. Uh, and we'll be anticipating them getting started in just a moment. They have some little seven-on-seven seven drills going on right now, and uh, we will get play started momentarily. So uh, we'll still keep it right here. Coach Massey? Hey, man, look, we, if I could, 
you know, we're, we're fighting real hard, and I, I thank Dr. Dunn is on page with us for the summer program. And Fred, I'd like to just go ahead and mention that we have a website, we have a web page. Thank Dr. Dunn is on page with us for the summer up program. And, and donate to and Fred, the I'd like to just go ahead and program. mention that we have I'm pitching something, but I'm pitching something that's good that for the citizens in Albany and the surrounding website, county. Web page. It's GoFundMe.com. That's the summer youth sports program. We're doing our 42nd year. You would have for it. Right. What, <laughs> what are the dates? You had, you had the a date dates, set. we May the 30th to June the 30th. And physical date is May the 13th. We'll mention that again. The dates, again. We, May Let the 30th. Get your kids. June nine, the 30th. You and can't physical miss date is May the summer program like we'll that. Be, we, we, we do a great job with your children. All right. And I know Coach Skinner appreciates that. And uh, definitely, uh, you've been doing a great job. Man, I'm telling you. You were my group leader when I was <laughs> too <laughs> young for the program. <laughs> All right, again, I uh, want to uh, acknowledge Coach Anthony Kelly. He's yeah, let's the interim that, head coach during the uh, spring. And uh, these coaches have really, really been working hard. Yes, they uh, have, Of man. course, doing a great job. So I want to just acknowledge them. Uh, Charles Huff, Bukowski Daniels, Kareem Hess, uh, Chris Henderson, you and Jorna. Yeah. Yeah, all of the, the coaches uh, really, really been working hard. And the thing about that delay, it kind of throws your timing off. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you go out, you recruit, you anticipate. Uh, you know, practice starting and oh, then you exactly. get a delay. The thing about then, that delay, you know, it kind of throws the time off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they you got go out, after you recruit, that, and you now anticipate. these guys, they've been waiting for this game. I've been asking them, you know, in the gym, I run across, are you ready to play? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. We ready to get it. <laughs> They're ready, ready to get, get it on. on. They're ready to get it on. So uh, we will have the kickoff coming up in just a moment. And teeing it up to kickoff, of course, Stefan Whitehead is uh, lined up to kick off, and we really won't have any special that teams delay, plays. It kind of throws your time uh, out there. Yeah, you know, you nice go out, kick you recruit, yeah, you anticipate. Yeah, nice. uh, do that in you the know, game. Practice. Yes, sir. <laughs> got to kick to the one-yard line. Save, yeah, save, save a little that foot for the game, and yes, we'll start out. Uh, looks like they're going to spot it down at the 25-yard line. So uh, it'll be Albany State. We call them the Gold Rush offense against the Dirty Blue defense, and the Blue and Gold spring game will – be ready. First possession coming up. And they run 20 plays in my life, Fred. That's 20 plays. Each quarter is 20 plays. Okay. Yes. And uh, then they will have in between the quarters a five-minute timeout. Timeout. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like five minutes in between each one. Okay. And then the final quarter, the fourth quarter, will be two two-minute drills. They're going to start at the negative 20-yard line okay. on the first one series, and the next one will be at the 50-yard line and uh, with the clock running. So time management going on in that last series. So here we go. Albany State ready to go. The gold offense against the blue defense. And Stafford will be ready to go in the shotgun. Trips right, one man to the left, and play action, throw it. And uh, I thought it was some holding over there. He play faked it to have the left and, and tried play to, action, to throw, throw it. And, right and, uh, and the flat, I, I thought, thought it was some holding over there. He and Harris, and I thought somebody grabbed it. Same, same grab? Fields, number 11. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Fields had a little bit of jersey that looked like from here, but. There is no flag down on the field. It'll be incomplete. Second down and 10 for Albany State. Ball is at the Rams 25-yard line, and they will break huddle, ready to go. Double receivers go left. One man will split wide right. And, of course, uh, Quadre Simmons, uh, one of the big receivers, and Harris, the other with a lot of receptions last year. They will hand off to this guy here. McKinley Habersham, he was a tough runner. Not a lot of real estate, though. A couple of yards. And this hand off this last year, yep. they only gave up 80 yards a game on the ground. On the ground. It was hard to run Not yeah. a lot of and real estate, We saw though. a little bit a of that right at the end, Fred. They did a good job of stopping that up. Two-yard game. Habersham was a dual threat, though. The running back, 337 rushing yards last year, two touchdowns, and 15 receiving uh 15 receptions in two times. Remember that okay. 93 yarder down yes, in Florida? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, against Southeastern last year. I mean, I, wow, he has really got the talent and explosive, able to make big plays. It'll be third and eight, Albany State, ready to go here. They break huddle again, double receivers left. One man will split wide right. Chris Sparks will receive on the right side, and Stafford still got two years of eligibility to go, so he anticipate being a junior this season. Back to pass on third and long, waits, throw over the middle, and it's incomplete. As I uh, don't know who the intended receiver 15, was. 15, number 15, was Fred. Throw okay, over the middle, 15, and it it's incomplete. The That's the tight end, As, Chris uh, yeah. don't know who the also intended the receiver was. Team. Number 80, Rodell Shorter. Incomplete, though. It'll be fourth down, and that's a win for the defense. That's a win for the defense. And, and you, you, you got to get them rolling there a little bit. Defense was inspired that they run that and did a good coverage, double coverage on tight end. Yeah, so that's going to be a three and out. And on defense, that's worth three points. So, okay. Albany State defense is up 3 nothing, and Terry Wiley, the punter, is out there to punt. 
see what he can do. And not a good punt, though. And they will come back out. So the defense, yeah. the first – yeah, first three plays, a win to the defense. Get the offense off the field. Three and out. Three nothing. And, and Coach Huff has got to be happy over there. Yeah, he's got to be happy. And Coach Huff does a great job with those guys. You might can't understand what he said sometimes on the field, but Coach Huff does a great job with that defense, making sure they're in the right place at the right time. Let's see what, the, let's see what we're going to do here offensively this time to try to make sure something happens. Because you want to try to get some more, 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 more venom, more venom. So here we go, the second – Series. We're still in the first quarter. It's 20 plays per quarter. So, Albany State will try and regroup on offense, see if they can move the ball. Only got a couple of yards, uh, two yards on the last possession. At the 30-yard line, they will run the quarterback keeper. And Stafford, they blow the whistle when you get near him, can't tackle the quarterback in a game like this. He's going to get five yards. It'll be second down and five. Faked it to Havisham. Yes, sir. And able to Everybody went with the fake. Everybody went with the fake. That's a good job by, by the quarterback. Good play there. It'll be second and five. Quickly it's lined up with double receivers both sides. No huddle. Back to pass here on second down. Throw it. It is Harris. Makes the catch. Now it's incomplete. And are they saying it's a fumble? Did he have possession, Coach? I don't think so. It looks Let's like, look at it. yeah, if we get a replay on that, we'll we'll take a look. But uh, to me, it's it looks Harris. Like makes the catch. Now it's incomplete. Have possession of the football. And are they saying it's a fumble? They're going it, though. Did I, he have I, possession, Coach? Opinion, I don't incomplete. think so. It looks like look it. Yeah. If so we get a replay on that, we'll, we'll take a look. But he caught the ball and it was mm-hmm. fumbled backwards. And it's Harris uh, the makes the catch. The now it's incomplete. Yards. So that'll and make it are they saying it's a again. fumble? Three yard loss. Did he have possession, Coach? I After don't think so. It looks Let's like look fumble. Yeah. If we get and a replay on that, we'll we'll take a look. Uh, but offense I, recovers it. So it'll be third down and eight. The Rams offense break huddle. Double receivers left and right. And Stafford. We'll see if he can connect here and convert it. Third and long once again, just like the last time. He rolls left. Stafford looks downfield, throw it, and it's going to be caught. And Harris, first down at the 45 of the defense. And that's a nice play. Able third to throw it long over. once again, just like the, the last the, time. The, the, he rolls the, left. Defenders there. Looks and down get it to field, that second throw it, That's a nice and pass. It's going to be caught. Catch. And on, Harris, first down so at the 45. On, on, over the top. The defender tried to get that. He couldn't. That's the, the swiftness of the arm. Good job, offense. All right, offense gets on the board with a couple of points there. It'll be first down at the 45. They will give it to Haversham, breaks a tackle, runs it inside the 40, and fighting his way down close to a first down, about nine yards on the play. Good look. Room, good daylight over there on the right side. And this is the down right here you can play with a little bit here, Fred. You got on second and one. You can play with, with that one a little bit. couple points there. It'll be first down yeah. at the 45. They will give it to Havisham. Breaks a tackle. Up, runs right it inside the 40. Jonathan and fight his way down close and to a first down. About nine yards there, on the play. Good, good look. There. Open it up. Second down and short. Second and one. Four receivers. Back to pass Stafford. He waits. Throws it. Going deep left side. And, boy, that was good coverage there. He little play fake. He was trying to get it downfield to his receiver, Chris Down Sparks. Short, second and one. And that is Four that receivers. Ferdinand Back Acker. to pass Stafford. He waits, throws it, going, <laughs> going deep left yeah. side. That, that, and boy, that was yeah. good that coverage, was good coverage Yeah, he had good he, coverage on the play. Little play fake. Yeah. He was and trying was to get it downfield. Like three plays, a second and short. And mm-hmm. you feel like maybe you could pick up a, a third and one. But uh, good coverage out there. Uh, and he's all along out there at cornerback doing a good job. It'll be third, nine, and one coming up here. Blue and gold spring game from Albany, Georgia, Albany State University Coliseum. Fred Suttles, Coach Jesse Massey, our partner Norman Newton is doing the PA announcing the day at the stadium. Rams ready to go here on third and one. Pistol set up and hand off to Habersham. Looking for running rooms, going to fight. I think he got the first down, and they will spot him right at the marker. It'll be first and ten. Albany State offense at the 35 yard line. Set up. And defense. hand off to Havisham. Right, he had Looking to fight that extra because fight. that tack that tack was going to come down and cave in on a good job by having number four. It'll be first and, and ten. Keeping his feet Albany moving State to offense. get that first down. That's a point for them, isn't it, Fred? Right? Oh, yeah. Pick yeah, one. definitely yeah. a point. Yeah, picking up a first down. Okay. So, uh, pick up a first down, you get a point down on offense. So, Rams, oh, on the move here. A break huddle on first down at the dirty blue 35 yard line. And double receivers again line up on the left side. One man split wide right. Stafford, shotgun, back to pass. He has time, waits, throw it over the middle, caught, and it's going to be about eight, close to nine yards. And She gave it to him. Yeah, he – and that down. is a right. first down. Yeah. Good spot there, but boy, Stafford, shotgun, back to pass. Yes, that's he all you got to have. Pitch and catch on over the middle caught, and, and I was looking at the official on – that's a lady on the other side of it, Fred, I believe, to him. Yeah, lady he, official. And she does spot it the first down at the 25-yard line. On the move, Albany State, new running back gets the ball, and we'll pick him up. That's number – who was that, number 30? 20. 
22? 22. Yeah, she yeah. does spot yeah. it the first yeah. down at the 25 yard line 22. on the move. Sure all exactly. these days. New running back uh, we'll, gets the ball. We'll and find out we'll, we'll pick uh, pass him up along to you. want to thank our crew here uh, uh, Eric six, Tabor, 20, Sr., 20, and Junior. junior. <laughs> yeah, Eric Tabor works with the Albany State IT department and his son in here. He is our producer, director. <laughs> Running the hat man. Yes, yes. Uh, they do a great job uh, providing you with this video stream. So hopefully uh, everyone out there is enjoying it. And we we're able to, we were glad to be able to do a couple of games last season. Look exactly. forward to doing that again on the upcoming season. Second down and five. Ooh, good fake. Stafford, oh, pump yes. fake and making the catch. And it'll be first and goal inside the five-yard line. Quadre season. Simmons exactly. doing that again. And I've been waiting on to call his name. He's going to be second a second down wide five. receiver this Ooh, upcoming year. Oh, Pump yes. fake first and, and goal making down the catch. the three-yard line. That was a and nice little oh, first man. and goal yeah. inside the yeah, – You need to see – that was a nice fake on that yeah, play right nice there. Fake, Had everybody nice going to the – Last season, exactly. Exactly. Doing that Look at the replay again. On the upcoming season. Second down and five. Pump fake and making the catch. Able to pick it up. And it'll be first and goal inside the goal at the three-yard line. And – and quarterback keeper, Stafford, touchdown. And we get a flag. Okay. Referee flag after the touchdown signal. That's in the area holding that, that late, yeah, a flag a behind late. the play like that. What do you think, Coach? Holding, and I'm quarterback just keeper, it. And that Stafford, is right there. I saw touchdown. It. I saw the hole right there. And we get a flag. Okay. Jersey. Referee. So Stafford touchdown negated or also aided by the hole. We don't know. Exactly. <laughs> the flag came exactly. out. So exactly. we look like that hole is what allowed him to get that crease. Uh, to be able to get in the end zone with the touchdown. But either way, it's going to be a penalty, walk off, and they will move it out to the 11-yard line. Fred, I'm going to be the devil's advocate. You're on the three-yard line. Why are you going to hold the guy? You know, that's just, you know, little tip pitch, little things that you, you want to make sure you clean up. That's why you do the spring lane. You show it to him, son, you ain't got to hold that man. He's already scored. So it'll be first and goal. And the ball spotted at the 11-yard line of the Dirty Blue defense. And if the score is accurate, it's 6-4 offense on top. But there's so many different ways to score. We have to make sure that total is right. And, of course, we got Stamper, your, your buddy Charles Stamper. Yeah, on, on, on the roll there. Running the scoreboard here. So it'll be first and goal. Rams ready to go. They spread it out. Four receivers, three on the left side. Back to pass. Stafford Look looking downfield. Under pressure. Throw it out of bounds. Had time. But good coverage downfield by the first and goal. Rams secondary. ready to go. They spread they had out. Time. Yeah. Receivers three and, on uh, one. His next guy did a good pass. job on Stafford that play right there. Down. He wanted to get the drop, dump it off, but he couldn't. And uh, he made him eat and throw it out. Nick Scott, definitely uh, one of the leaders on defense. Uh, had 48 tackles last year, two interceptions. And uh, another big playmaker out there, number seven, Zabundrick Singleton. Yeah. And he was the leading tackler for the Rams defense. 51 tackles last year. Had him a pick, but he was all over the place making plays. Almost any way you can make it. So, it'll be second and goal. Rams offense break huddle. They send the trips package. Three receivers here on the near side. One man split wide left. And Stafford working again from the shotgun. On second down, Rams defense show blitz. They bring a little pressure. He pumps again. Going to throw it in the dirt. And had a receiver in the area, Haversham. Working but again from the shotgun. He had to do that. Yeah, he had second to. Down. Down. Defense Rams gave, defense they dictated. Yeah. They, they, they were on pressure. top of him. He pumps again. Going to throw it in the dirt. Had everything and covered up. Yeah, and, and, and that's no, no, no bad throw there. He's just getting rid of it. Big play here now, third down. We got to get it in the end zone. Yeah, so it's third and goal. Ball still resting at about the 11-yard line. I remember we were a couple of plays ago in mm -hmm. the end zone, had it at the three-yard line, and now we'll see what happens. So it'll be third and goal. As the offense will break huddle again, trips package three receivers to the right, one man split to the left. Stafford from Albany, Monroe High graduate, ready to go here on third down and goal. Back to pass, going deep left side flag. and got another flag. Got two flags on the play. So had an initial flag. That, I'm thinking that maybe it's going to be on the defense. I don't know Monroe about the High second graduate, one, ready to go here on flag, third down and goal. Right there, back to pass, yard line, going one deep in the left side so and two flags on the play. We got a holding and a pass interference. I guarantee you, you're going to take the pass interference because when he came off, he held him, passed the five yards, and then in the end zone, he got held. So you can pick take pick your poison in for it. And we will Waiting. let the officials have their discussion uh, again. It's all a matter what happened first. They, they got to decide where they're going to penalize because you got two of them. Yeah, and which one do you take? I take the pass interference because now you're going to get the ball in the end, on the one-yard line, first and goal. So. Which one you take for it? 
<laughs> they took the pass interference, yeah. I believe. Yeah. You yeah, put I it on the two. That's, yeah, that's the one. So they're going to rest it at the two yard line. It'll be first and goal, Albany State offense at the two yard line of the Dirty Blue defense. And a couple of plays, uh, a couple of defensive penalties. And now that Dirty Blue has really got to got to work themselves out here. Again, we're ready to go. So Stafford, we haven't seen him go into center yet, working again from the shotgun, almost like the pistol formation. He's going to give it to Habersham and cut down. Good penetration. Had three dirty blue defenders on top Taffert. of him right there from the we snap. We haven't seen him go into and center yet. Working right again that from the line, shotgun, the almost like the pistol formation. For the He's going to give it to you, you Habersham and cut first down. Good penetration. Play. No gain. Had three Second dirty down, blue defenders. defense surge. That's a good job. Yeah, number nine, Emmanuel Brown was right there in the middle of it. Had three defenders. He's another guy that was just all Emmanuel, over the place. Yeah, yeah big-time linebacker, makes a lot of plays, made a lot of them last season. He was the second leading tackler last year with, with 50 tackles uh, for the Dirty Blue defense. So we're ready to go here. Second and goal at the two-yard line. Stafford gets a signal, ready to go, hand it, and Sh Habersham is going to take it in the end zone. Good able job. to – Break loose and then, so drag ready to go with here. Second and goal, yard run at for the two yard line. And Stafford the offense is the was the ready to go hand it. And I was looking at the, the tackle. The tackle did a good job. Zone. Number seventy four. Fred, loose. he folded that in down inside. That's a good job by number seventy four. Uh, Josh Coburn, offensive line. They don't get the credit that they need to get because you're in the trenches, baby. Right. But a good job. And, again, Coleman doing a good job. No band today. It's a little quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you might be tuning in to us, uh, no, the Albany State Marching Rams show band not here today. Mr. DeQuir told me he had another commitment and some things going on. So, okay. point after try here, Whitehead, and the PAT is good. There so, go. yeah, that'll add another point on for the offense. So, again, what do you think so far, Coach? I, I, I see a lot of good things defensively. Remember that on, on that defensive surge that we, we had to stop that first initial play. And then we held him at the three, and then the guy had enough power to get inside. I'm liking Staff. He, he, he's, he's handling the offense. He's running the show. That's what you got to have for your quarterback now. I, I think it needs to be a little bit quicker, and, and that will come. So I, I'm impressed, not with the first series, but the last two series. Okay. And uh, we – We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if we hit that twenty. Hit twenty yet? We've hit the twenty plays. We may be at that twenty play mark. And if that's get a five minute break, yeah, that's okay. We're gonna get a break, and that means we'll be heading to the second quarter. So the way this works is three quarters, or actually four quarters. The first three quarters are twenty plays. The last quarter will be two two minute drills. Uh -huh. So, and current. Come on, Norman. You one of the crew. What's going on? <laughs> tell us. Tell us what's happening. Yeah. I just want to tell you, um, on the plays um, for the quarter, uh, 15 plays per quarter. Um, it was an updated. Okay. Uh, she gave so, it to me by Anthony Kelly. Okay. But he did say they um, are continuing the drive. If the drive um, is going on during those 15 plays, they will finish the drive. So it's obviously most most quarters are going to be more than 15 plays, but that that's the limit in the quarter. All right, and we're still taking a five minute break. Five minute team break, and they're going to do two field goals and those breaks, and those field goals don't count for any points. Okay, thank you, Noah. How you doing, Noah? Yeah, man, everything good. Y'all uh, kick me out. So, how do you like the, the PA announcement? That's I what? do not like the PA announcement. I'd rather be over here talking to you guys about football. Oh, it's it's a lonely you, world over there. Uh, well, it'll probably be set up different in the fall. We, at least you have options, maybe. Well, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, uh, so right now, currently the score, we believe, is updated, and it is 13 for the goal, the offense, 5 for the Dirty Blue defense. And I'm going to check with Eric to see if we need to take a break. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take us a break. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. The Blue and Gold Spring Game from Albany, Georgia. We'll be right back.
thanks a lot, and we are back here on the campus of Albany State University, the Albany State University Coliseum. It's the 2017 Blue and Gold Spring Game. Fred Suttles and Coach Jesse Massey with you, and currently the score is 13 for the gold offense, five for the dirty blue defense, and uh, we are heading to the second quarter, and we did get an update from Norman, 15 plays per quarter is the sequence. This yeah. is the start of the second quarter. We change sides, and we'll be going now from left to right. As you view this, and uh, first play handoff, running back around the right corner for around 35 is Raynard White. So a game like this, you're going to see a lot of new guys, yeah. guys you hadn't seen, you know, upcoming uh, young men, new yes, freshmen, uh, red shirt freshmen, and, and a lot of guys that didn't get a lot of, uh, you know, play, play time, time yeah. last season. Uh, this will be their first action. So we do have a, let's see, at quarterback, is Stafford still in there? Still coach? in there, number 12, yes. Yeah, so Stafford is still a net quarterback. And, again, Stafford, a, a good-looking kid. You can tell he's really been working out, cut up real good, and, and really has a great arm. He can really run it. It'll be second and three after the seven-yard run. Back to pass. Stafford, under pressure, breaks loose from a defender, looking downfield, is going to tuck it and run for the first down out of bounds. And that's a good decision by Stafford, able to shake loose a man and able to pick up what he can get the first down. Didn't force the issue. That That's so critical when you're at quarterback and you've been flushed from the pocket. Once you get flushed, hey, you, you game for it. <laughs> Once you flush, so you got to make quick decisions on that play. And wow, did they say he didn't get the first down. I thought he. Had, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, I, I thought he went. Past I thought the he had that first down. <laughs> okay, I this think, is a spring game. We're gonna stop. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're gonna leave officials alone. Look, look not, at today, not, <laughs> Co not, yeah, not today. Coach Messi, this game doesn't count. Yeah, I <laughs> It does count, but not like that. It'll be third down and about a half yard, and quarterback going to pass the ball Ooh. to Rodell Shorter, and he may not get it. Good defense there by the Dirty Blue, and boy, at the bottom, yeah, doing a great job. Aaron Davis able to hold up Rodell Shorter. They, they fake me. I, you don't hand the ball off. You think you can throw, throw it quickly. It, yeah. Aaron Davis stood him up, and the rest of the guys cleaned him up. And, boy, that's a win for the defense. It's fourth down. He did a good job of waiting till help, holding on, holding on, because they didn't have to give it one yard or half a yard, almost a one. And he did a good job sticking him old school. So Terry Wiley on the punt. And, of course, there are no special teams today, no special teams actual plays no punt, punt returns, no kick returns, but he will punt and not able to field it. It's going to be down at about the 11-yard line. So 14-8 to eight defense with a big stop there. So 14-8, to eight your current score, gold versus blue. Gold on top right now. Again, the season begins on September the 2nd. We'll be hosting the Battle of State University Blazers. And that's They'll a bring seven. The crowd. Yeah. It'll be huge. 7 p.m. kickoff. And, of course, we anticipate that always been a big game with uh, both programs having yes. a lot of success. Uh, Valdosta State uh, last season, of course, that game, all those interceptions, it really came down to us just turning the ball over exactly. against them last year. We were right there. A couple of plays here, there. And, and, again, it should be a huge sellout crowd on September the 2nd. That's Labor Day weekend. Yeah. So we will have the next possession coming up starting at the 30-yard line as uh, the, and, and it will Fred, change sides. What I'm going to look for in this series right here, can we move the football? Can, can, that's that's important in the spring also. Can you move the sticks? You know, yeah. not just one first down, you know, consistently getting first downs, making good plays, and I'm going to consistently walk at the offensive line and say they're blocking today. Yeah. And you run know. the clock, control yes. the clock. Control the clock. That's what yeah. you're looking for. Yeah. And I'm going to look at these old, old linemen and see yeah. if they're blocking. Well, the last time we saw him, remember that Fort Valley game? Yeah, goodness. It's like I don't know what happened. They the block, yeah. <laughs> and it's like uh, Edmonds was running for his life. Yes, and and, and things just went south. So you got to be able to, to go and block four quarters. So we'll see uh, here in this spring game at the thirty. Back to pass, Stafford throw over the middle, caught nice hands and shorter, able to make the catch, and it'll be seven yards on the receiving end. They will spot him down at the thirty. We'll call it the thirty-seven. And, and Fred Stafford didn't have to do that much. He's tall. He can see. 6'2", 6'3". About 6'3". Yeah, he can see that. And the line did a good job blocking that time on that series right there. Now, let's see. Can we be consistent and get that first down? We can, a, lot of, a lot of play here. And, of course, the offensive linemen. Uh, looking at all these guys, John Wesley, Brandon yeah. Williams, uh, Jamie Glenn. And I Tedrick see them guys Cofield. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we will see. Second, we'll call it a long three to go. Ball at the 37-yard line. Rams going from left to right. Offense has it. And man in motion. 
will reset over on the right side. Merriweather. And hand the ball off to Habersham in the secondary. What a run for a first down. And able to finish it off at the end there. Nice run. Big play out to the 49-yard line. See, now that there, there, there's consistency right there. He hit the hole. The offensive lineman, you, and we can see the replay, did a great job of sealing the inside. And made a cut so quick. Nick Scott couldn't even get to him. He yep. gets a big first down. They say he's down at about the 48-yard line. We'll call it the 48. First and 10. Rams ready to go here. Three receivers. Stafford back to pass here. First down. Waits. Good protection. Throw over the middle. Looking for the post. Incomplete. And that time, it looks like if he could have led him to the right a little bit more, that ball kind of went upfield on his intended receiver, and it was man, it was single coverage. That was I didn't see a safety out there, and it's incomplete though. I, I was looking at the offensive line; did a good job of protecting him. He had a, he can view the whole field. I thought he was gonna check down to underneath, but I thought he, he he's thinking he can get it to him. Trey Jackson, an intended receiver there, is incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Rams ball still at the gold offense, uh, the gold forty-eight yard line. Again, the Rams with the three receiver package, one man. On the right, got double receivers on the left side here. On second down, handoff to number 22. Got to pick him up. And another run for a first down. Big play there. I had to drag him down from behind Shingleton. Uh, and, but it's a big play for a first down. Got to find out who that is. I, maybe I need to ask uh, Stan. Yeah. We, who's number 22? Because he hit that hole up in there, and he was, he, he was running that thing that time underneath there. He had a little crease, and he kept, kept going. It's a good job right there. The old line did a good job blocking on that play right there. Jack, they hit the hole and got first and 10 on the Blues 45-yard line. So it's a first down and more points for the offense. 18-8 to eight currently the goal team on top, the offense. Stafford back to pass here on first down. It's going to be – did he make the catch? No. And this is, again, Rodell. Boy, you can tell that's his favorite target so yeah. far. Rodell Short, another pass intended for him. And uh, Lorenzo Bolden, that's the guy that we're looking for. I think he may be – Number listed. 22. Yeah, yeah. He's wearing jersey number 22. They got him as 24 on this one. So, we'll okay. flip it right here. Wearing 22 with the last big run for a first down. Fred, and, we had a little breakdown then on, on the offensive line. The, the, the backside, they sent that linebacker, and we didn't block that guy in Put a little pressure on Stafford. He couldn't get it to him, so second down. Alex Williams, a linebacker coach, got to like that, able to get pressure on him. It'll be second then 10. And the offense ready to go, Stafford. And, of course, he – normally you see him with a red jersey, a green jersey, yeah. something totally different. Got the shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe the shoes. The guy with the green shoes, you don't hit him. <laughs> It's no good. offense, Monroe. He got on green shoes. You'll uh, see it. Uh, that's, that's a lot of love, but the green means yeah. you don't hit him in a game like this. It'll yeah. be third and nine coming up here. Albany State gold offense at the Dirty Blue 34-yard line. Now this is what you look for in the spring game. Can you execute either defense or offense to stop each other? Big play down the distance. Like you said, Coach, mm -hmm. third and nine. Big play. Merriweather split wide right, three receivers to the left. We get a timeout on the field. So the Dirty Blue defense, Huff wants to talk about it. They were going to take a timeout. Your score is offense 18, defense 8 in this 2017 Blue and Gold Spring game. And, Fred, the rest of our schedule is kind of tough too now. We, we got Tuskegee then next week, and that's 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 a bond burner. Yeah, so that also stayed your first game. You yeah. follow them up the next week on September 9th with Tuskegee. And and they right there, the playoff yeah. caliber team. And, boy, we hadn't beaten them in a while. And sure a lot had. of close games, but we hadn't been able to get it done against them. Then we get this team, North Greenville, coming to Albany on September the 16th. Yeah. And that's going to be huge. Uh, they made the playoffs a few years ago. They've changed their staffs and things around. But we anticipate them being a, a good the team. team. Uh, that's not just a gimme of uh, playing them on the 16th. Play then, these guys were tough. Then on the 23rd, we go to Carrollton to take on West Georgia. Yeah. They really have – revitalize their program exactly they have a new stadium that we hadn't played in before so last time we played it was the high school stadium, high school stadium. but they have a nice facility up there we'll go there on september 23rd and then miles <laughs> every time we play miles it's a barn burner yeah, last there. year remember we had the 35 to 10 lead on them yeah the game ended 35 33 had to hold them off had to hold them off <laughs> Uh, we'll be going over there the Fairfield. Miles, September 30th, and then October 7th, uh, first time we're playing Lincoln, I think the University of Lincoln, this may be the first ever meeting, Steve Smith, the head coach over there. Homecoming this year, if you haven't marked it on the calendar, October the 14th, put it down. October 14th, we're hosting Morehouse College, and we'll get back to the rest of that schedule Got in just a minute. Got a penalty for it. 
Was that a, a drop flag or a penalty? Pen- it looked like he had too many. Number 29 Illegal. was on the field. Legal participation? Yeah, he counted 12. Now, out of timeout, you shouldn't have that, Coach. No, you shouldn't have that. See, that's you got to get that, that cleared up. You shouldn't have that right there. Now that makes the offense now have a better shot at getting it first down. All right. Quickly, I look at the rest of that schedule. Yeah. October 21st with in Atlanta taking on Clark Atlanta. That's their homecoming too, isn't it? Probably. Not certain. Not, not, not certain. certain. I, okay. I think they don't want to schedule us for homecoming, but I'm not, okay. not certain at the moment. Okay. October 21st, Clark Atlanta. Uh, Coach Mike White and the Benedict Tigers come to Albany on October 28th, and then we end the season on November the 4th against Fort Valley in Columbus. Good job, son. Fountain City Get Classic. And McKinley Habersham looks like again on the run. He's close to the first down, and they're going to spot him short from where I'm standing. The line judge, Coach. Oh, man. Let's look at the replay. And I thought he got that line. Maybe his knee Knee. was down. I saw his knee. Yeah, his knee. His knee was down. So he's short of the line. One time for the refs. Yeah. So let me ask you this. If you go for it on fourth and inches, and it looks like they're going to go for it. So it'll be fourth and inches, and the Albany State offense will go for it. Three receivers. And the quarterback handoff him. Well, he oh, tripped. he tripped. He and went. he is short. I believe uh, they're stopping. Did we get a timeout before the snap? I don't know. Either way, I don't think he got the line, Coach. No, he didn't. He he tripped and fell. And did he get a timeout? And that was Habersham. So, either way, that's going to be a win for the defense. I don't. Yeah, he was yeah, short, short, short of line. Short of line. And that was on he tripped. I mean, I don't know what the deal was, but that's going to be a win for the defense, and that score is going to change in a minute. Him and Stafford might bumped each other on the handoff. I don't know if we can get that replay back up as far as him making that play, that handoff, but they might have bumped each other and threw him off track there to, to get that first down. That was almost a gimme. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you want to try to get straightened out in the spring. You know, just a little bit of things like that will, will just destroy a, a play. 18 to 10, and that's your current score. And the way this works, this uh, spring game between Albany State is offense versus defense. Now, a lot of other teams uh, have a lot more players, and yes. they'll actually run a full team against yeah. the other team. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is actually offense versus, versus defense. defense. Many different ways for the offense to score as well as the defense. The offense can score by scoring touchdowns. Okay. PATs, field goals, first downs, runs over 20 yards, passes over 25 yards, and runs over 10 yards. The defense can score by scoring a touchdown themselves on defense, whether it be a pick six or what have you. Okay. Uh, a missed point after, a missed field goal, uh, a turnover, a drive stop, three and out, a sack, forced fumble, and a tackle for loss. And we are in the second quarter of play, and we're playing 15 plays per quarter, and the fourth quarter will be two two-minute drills. So we're ready to go here as we set up. Stafford is going to throw it far side. That's the first down, depending on the spot, and that is going to be a first down and on the receiving end. See if I can pick up that replay. I was trying to – yeah. the guy, the st- st- he st- stood in that pocket. He didn't panic or anything. And the reason why he can stand up in there and, and he's tall, he can see, and he got a pretty good arm. Good job, good catch. All right, good camera work down there. Eric Tabor, senior. We got one camera today, and he's doing a fine job with it. And, of course, his son doing a great job uh, running replays and controlling all the nice little digital effects here. Game right now live on uh, YouTube, YouTube Live. And, boy, it looks really, really nice on uh, with what they're doing. So we appreciate that. So it's first and 10 at the 49 of the blue. Throw and caught far side of the field. Trying to break a man there. Aka is going to bring him down on the receiving end is Chris Sparks, number 18, and that's a nice play for a big uh, reception there. He didn't get rough. I'm looking at the replay. He stood in there, had a little pressure, made the play. That That's what that players that making plays. That's the key right here. Making that play, turn it up. Number 36 was the receiver. Who's that receiver for That was Sparks. He did a good job of catch out the run out the catch that tried to get loose. He couldn't. He only had two receptions last year. Okay. But you can tell that's probably going to be different this year. Uh-huh. Uh, because, of course, uh, you had a lot of guys, uh, you know, behind a lot of guys, but you, a lot of talent. Step up, there. baby. Yeah, time to step up and do it. So we have uh, trips, three receivers again in the game to the right, one man split wide left. And Stafford ready to go here from the shotgun. First down, 35 yard line. Has time to throw it in the dirt to Habersham. And we get a flag there, unnecessary. That's going to be on oh, deep. 40. Yeah. Charmaine White and boy, Coach Huff is not going to like that. No, yeah. he's right in front of him, too, over here, Coach. It was blown dead, incomplete. He's and he, still driving. He took Habersham on down to the ground. 
That's gonna be a first down for them now. That's for the, that could get points off that, don't it? Do they get points off that penalty like that? That's, yeah. Well, I'm no. not sure about the, that's the not penalties. Okay. Well, yeah, that's gonna be an automatic first down, of course, with the unnecessary roughness there. So personal foul coming up, 15 yard walk off. It is. Okay. Okay. So it. Well, yeah. So the offense gonna get a point because it's a first down. Okay. Not because of the penalty. Not because of the penalty. Right. What well, from looking at Stafford so far, it, it the twice he's had to throw the ball down because I would like for him to check off if you can't get that receiver. It looked like a screen pass. And I, I don't know if anything else is developing in there within that screen pass, but he's had to throw it away twice. First down for it. What yard line? 20? Uh, you got me. This reminds me of the field up there. <laughs> that year. To... It was a field we played on just like oh, it's the 20. Oh, man. Lane, one of them. <laughs> uh, it was at Livingstone years Ooh, ago yeah. up there in North Carolina. Pass is complete at the 15-yard line, and on the receiving end is Quadre Simmons. So, five-yard pass play. It'll be second and five at the 15-yard line of the Dirty Blue defense. 21-10 to 10 if you're just tuning in to us as the goal rush offense leads the Dirty Blue defense. Both teams, uh, offense and defense, have different ways to score. And they're in that red zone area. And this is an yes, area you, yes. you want to be able to do what, Coach? You Score. You want to be able to <laughs> score. You want to be able to put some points on the board here. You want to make sure you want to get the score. That's it. Stafford, the quarterback, low snap, wants to pass quickly out there. Habersham in the flat, and did he hold on to the ball? The ball, the ball squared ball out. At the end, they say he held first on to down. it. He's near the 10-yard line. If he's at the 10, he may be short of the first down. They Inches. mark him down at the 11. Inches. So it's be third down and, again, about a half yard to go for the goal rush. Uh, you'll join a, of course, uh, offensive coordinator calling the plays, working with the quarterbacks, and we'll see what they draw up. Third down. We pass – did, and it didn't work before. Yeah. Third down and just about okay. the same. We'll see what we do down here. Okay. So third down, about six inches to go for the Rams. They're ready to go. Quarterback, pistol of formation. And he's going to give Havisham, and he's going to get the touchdown. That's a good job back there. I want to receive 11 a yards, straight up the gut, touchdown, good block, and able to clean them out. So Havisham doing a great job out there. And we look forward to seeing this guy during the season, boy. He was able to – they had penetration. He just made one step by that guy yeah. and was able to go by and blow it into the end zone. Nice little run. I saw the offense. They just cleared the whole section out there. Then one guy had a chance to make the tackle. Now, one guy not dressed out is Yusuf Muhammad, the Ram fullback. I know he had that knee injury, remember, last year? Yeah. Uh, and had it tore his knee up. Yeah. He's been rehabbing, and, yeah. and hopefully he'll be good to go come the fall. fall. But that's a nice-looking run there by Habersham, and he is the guy that can get it done. Playmaker. He was the lead in all-purpose yards last season for Albany State. And, of course, he can run it and receive it. Missed and it for it. Missed PAT, so the defense is going to get a point out of that. So, looking at the board right now, 27-11 to 11 is your current score. And we may be getting close to heading to the third, third quarter. quarter. Uh, we'll – so, 27-12, to 12, they updated the score. 12 points for the Dirty Blue defense, 27 points for the offense. And, and again – And, and, and again, yeah, I, I like to assess – we've had two quarters. We, we got some bright spots, and we got some things that you always work on in football. There's something always – that, that troubles you. But we had good movement, and it's better coordination with that quarterback. I like how he's standing there and throwing that football. You think Stafford comes back for another possession? Uh, I wonder how many series uh, he's going to get. I, I'm not I, sure if Chancellor Johnson is actually here because the baseball team's in Augusta this okay. weekend. They're taking okay. on he, he, Payne College. Okay, yeah. 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 He yeah, might so, not even be here today. Yeah, he, he, uh, he's been pitching and playing baseball. We do know Billy Cobb is out there, so uh, we, we, we'll look and see. And I think we may be inside another – one of the uh, quarter breaks. So we anticipate going into the third quarter. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to step away. Yeah, we're going to take a break as your score is the Gold Rush offense 27, the Dirty Blue defense 12. It's the Blue and Gold Spring came at Albany State University. We'll be right back. <laughs>
patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. And it's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels.
a lot. We are heading into the third quarter of play here, and uh, if you keep in score, it's the goal rush offense of Albany State University 27, the Dirty Blue defense 12. This is the 2017 Blue and Gold Spring Game. Fred Suttles and Jesse Massey here. Norman Newton's here, but he's over on the PA. Uh, a pretty good crowd out. Uh, it's a warm day. People got umbrellas. They're wearing the shorts and trying to keep cool, but uh, but still some good support here today for the Golden Rams as we anticipate the 2017 season. want to talk about this guy Grover Stewart this is a guy that's being missed of course he played four years started four years at Auburn State and he really we look forward to him hopefully getting drafted into the NFL and he's at every scout here all of last season all through the spring all for his workouts and uh, that'll be really big for not only Auburn State Camilla Southwest Georgia if that guy gets drafted into the NFL and he's a very manable young man I've, I've had the opportunity to speak to him several times and uh, I, I think and I don't want to. I'm thinking he'll go late second. Yeah, that, that's my yeah. thinking. He's, we hadn't had one. I don't know if we ever had one to have every NFL team here yeah. to see. Yeah, <laughs> if, they, if they've been here to see him, the, the word's out about this young man. Right. And uh, that would be good if you go high, late second. You're right. Congratulations again to our golf team, SIAC champions in our inaugural season, first ever season. Coach Hilton and the golf team won the SIAC up there in Peachtree City. And they, uh, of course, got the nice hardware and uh, great job there. So we're going to the third quarter as the Gold Rush offense lead it. And still at quarterback, Charles Stafford. And he will give it to Lorenzo Bolden off the left side. Ball fumbled at the end. And if that's a turnover, and yep. it is a turnover. turnover. So points for the defense. So turnover, four points for the defense coming up there. And that uh, looks like a, a – it was a short run, but you got to protect that football, coach. And, and that's what you need in the spring. That young man got to learn. If he's going to do that right there, he'll be on there on the sideline, dropping it at the beginning of the quarter. You got to hold on to the football, like you just said, Fred. And that's a what? How many points did he get it for Fred? Four points for Four a turnover. Points. Okay. So it should be twenty-seven to sixteen. We anticipate. Okay. And they do add it up twenty-seven sixteen. That's a win for the defense and the offense. Will regroup see if they can come out. Uh, do you you leave him in? He make a play like that. You leave him in the game. Uh uh-uh, uh, he got to come over with me for a little bit. Got to come talk. Yeah, come in. Let me talk to you. Is got that, something to tell you. But he already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> but he better gonna hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> I got some words for him. And he is out of the ball game. So uh, new <laughs> running back. It looks like number thirty five may be in there. Raynard White can't quite sing. And this is a little small guy back there now. As we put Simmons in motion to the left side. Three receiver package and Stafford, boy, Ooh. they put pressure on him, got loose, shake and bake and incomplete. Boy, that was a nice move just to get away from Zane Fields. Came off that edge and Stafford, boy, he's got some nifty footwork. Whoa. Zane Fields was on top of him. He stepped out of the way and tried to hit Quadre Simmons on a little quick out, but it's incomplete. It'll be second and ten. What's that guy on the sports? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> he did there. Now, our defense did a good job of him right there. They put pressure on him so he couldn't get his feet set. So he can find his receivers. So second down at ten, and we we get, they want to move the ball here. That that's the important thing. Yep, want to just big props to Anthony Kelly, interim yes, sir. head coach, able to just step right in after Coach Land resigned. He stepped in and said, "Look, I'm going to handle these this responsibility through the spring in, and complete pass there. Ooh. Should be a ooh Nick Scott almost a late hit there on Takevian Harris." Ball is caught and out of bounds, short of the first down by a couple of yards at the 48-yard line. But Coach Kelly able to yeah. step in. You know, Coach Land, uh, Kelly and Land, they're best friends. And he said, look, I'm going to step in. We recruited these guys. We want to do whatever. And you're talking about a guy that loves this program. Yes, uh, yes. He's been a part of the coaching staff for like 28 years. So Coach Kelly, Anthony Kelly, is a and, member of the Hall of Fame, and he's just a class act. And, and, and financially, he does also for – he does a great job. Now, back to the game. We right. got – now you see what you're going to do in the spring. You got third and two. This is a big play here. You big, treat this like a game. Big play, offense and defense. We'll see who's going to win the battle. Third and two, goal rush ready to go. They break huddle, double receivers. Right, one man split wide left. See if the dirty blue defense can stop them. Blue and goal, big play on third down. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. Stafford, nowhere to go. Big play there. Able yeah. to get back there. Number 45 is uh, Brendan Kimball. And he was able to make the play in the backfield tackle for loss. So that's going to be uh, a, a big. Uh, there's going to be some more points there for the uh, defense. The, the defense there. And, and nobody blocking for it. So somebody missed the blocking assignment on that play. Right, he came clean. He came underneath clean. So that that hurts us a little 11 bit. Eleven men up at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, somebody got to count off. Somebody got to get somebody. 
It'll be fourth down, and uh, it'll be a punting situation here, so there'll be some more points uh, coming up as uh, Terry Wiley on the punt. We're in the third quarter here at the Blue and Gold Spring Game. Fourth quarter is going to be two two-minute drills, so when we get in the fourth quarter, they'll start the ball at the negative 20-yard line with 80 yards to go, and it'll be two minutes on the clock. And then the second possession, the mm -hmm. ball that started midfield, right at the 50, it'll be 130 on the clock. Okay. That's a win for the defense then. They stepped up and shut them down right there. That, and that's what you look for in the spring, situations. And I've heard Coach Kelly go down there to practice. Situations, situations. That was one right there. That, that's crucial right there because you want to have more with the offense, more so than the defense, the momentum. 27-19, your score, and it's an eight-point difference there. Goal rush offense on top. Dirty blue defense making a statement on that last one. So we're in the third quarter here, and we start the season September the 2nd, Labor Day weekend against Valdosta State, and yeah. this place is going to look a lot different on that night. Yes, it will be. Yeah. It, it'll be a lot of folks. It'll probably be humid too, humid, a little warm. The crowd, the band, uh, everybody, and we anticipate it. And, uh, of course – uh, we, we look forward to the 2017 season, and when the tickets go on sale, get them early. Definitely uh, five home games this upcoming season. And we switch sides here on first down at the 40-yard line and not really getting around the corner. And that's good east to west defense. Stringing that play out, yeah. that's good movement by your linebackers, able to get over there and just close the door. He might have got a yard, maybe two, but he really didn't get turned uh, leverage. They yeah. kept that outside leverage right there. And Fred, when's the last time we had five home games? That's that's been a minute. That that's mm -hmm. been a long time. It's been a while. We well, with all the classics. That yes. that's really the big thing. The, yes. the, the the Phoenix City classics. So now we don't do home and home with Tuskegee. Tuskegee yeah. That's taken away. And uh, of course, then we've had open weeks. So we've had nine game schedule. So yeah, it's been a long time. And we so, don't have an open week this year. Yeah, no open. We go straight through it. And uh, the SIAC championship game <laughs> the following weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, definitely uh, a, a big schedule here. Ten-game slate coming up. Second and eight. Back to pass. Stafford. Second down. And it's going to be face caught. Mask. And face mask. Everybody saw it. Quadre Simmons, regardless of the face mask, held on to it for a first down across the 40. What is that? Inside the it's 45 a, yeah. at about the 43. But we'll get 15 more yards added on. Fred, I thought he was throwing that ball to number 85. That's I did, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, if we can see the, yeah, if we can get a replay, I, I, I really thought he was throwing it to the inside receiver. Yeah, but he threw, he was throwing it out there. Yeah, so, yeah, kind of, yeah, he kind of fool. He, I, he yeah. put the, the weavy G on yeah. that down play. That's a good job. Yeah. So, uh, 15 yard face mask coming up against the Dirty Blues gonna move the ball even further down. So 15 from 43. I do that to Norman all the time. 28 yard line. <laughs> It'll be first and 10 for the Gold Rush offense here in the third quarter. And that's going to be some more points after, of course, uh, right now 28-19, to 19, your current score. Goal rush offense on top of the dirty blue. Fred Suttles. Give him his Coach problem. Jesse Massey. Give Norman his props. Norman, Norman, Norman Newton. Newton over there. If you were in the stadium, you get to hear him doing the PA announcement. <laughs> Coach Massey, are you busy right You're officiating what right now? Baseball. Baseball? Okay. Stafford. Oh. Dangerous oh. pass. Incomplete. He threw it, and a uh, defender, I believe, was that, uh, looked like that was Nick Scott. A couple of guys had a shot Side at that, that ball. ball. That ball was Look. up, but it was thrown on a Here's your replay. Look at yeah. it for it. Yeah, he rolls to the right, and Stafford's going to fire that ball down there, and I believe that's number 44 is the guy that had a chance underneath Terry Compton, the linebacker. And uh, fortunate that thing wasn't picked, and receiver couldn't hold on to it either. It's second and 10 coming up. And Stafford has gone the whole while today. So, Charles Stafford, the quarterback, yeah. out of Monroe High School, Albany, Georgia, native, and they're ready to go here. Second and 10, going from right to left on your broadcast as uh, Stafford looks at the dirty blue defense here. Second down, throw it out there, and Harris makes the catch, but it's going to be a loss on the play. And Nick Scott wasn't fooled that time. No, sir. Yeah, just a little quick hitch pass. And actually almost like a backwards pass. But mm -hmm. either way, you're going to lose almost five yards on the play. It'll be third down and long, third and about 15 coming up. And now this is what you work on in the spring. Can you execute it and keep the drive alive? Yeah, yeah that, that's that's the important thing. Can we get 12, 13 yards to keep the drive alive? Even though it's the spring, those are the intangibles that you look for to try to, in the real ball game situation. 
This thing is closing up right yeah. now. Twenty eight to twenty according to the scoreboard here in the stadium is an eight point lead and the dirty blues really stepping it up here. In the last couple of possessions, big one now, third and 15. Stafford under pressure, throw it, and intercepted. Aka with the pick, and on the return. There you go. He tried to flip be, it. <laughs> it'll be Nick Scott. He tried to it. flip it, and, and they got the other team. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we had, what, two attempted yes. laterals? There we go. Yeah. Uh, we'll look at the interception <laughs> That's by one. Ferdinand Aka. There it is. And then the ball is going to be. Is that picked up 26. Wow. Yeah, and number 26 is D'Angelo Smith able to get the ball after all that. So, interception is already going to count. So, let's let's see if we can add this thing up here. <laughs> interception. Uh, uh, turnover. So, four points. Okay. So, that's going to close it up, but but they turned it back over too, right? Yeah, so they get two points. Two turnovers? Two turnovers. So, so they both get piece? a turnover? <laughs> Somebody, both sides, got, they didn't put 22 up for the visitor, for the defense. Well, it should have been four points, right? Uh, or did they cut it in half since they gave it back split, to them? <laughs> split the difference. <laughs> hey, we're going to split the difference. You get two and I get two. <laughs> but it's changing possession. We got the ball back. Let's see, can we score? So the goal rush after that little fiasco there, get the ball back. So, of course, they wouldn't do that in a game. No. Oh, man, coach would turn purple. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 no, 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 we don't <laughs> – at the what is that? The fifteen yard line. Stafford. Ooh, 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 Harris. ooh, Harris. Had it in his hands and Harris. must have tried to run before he caught the ball. Because Takevian Harris was wide open. Daylight. Watch daylight on this. Yeah. He threw it to daylight. Watch him right there. See it there? Nobody's Le- there. Leading receiver for the Rams. Thirty receptions last year with three touchdowns. He's also a local product here. He tried to do what you said for it. Yeah. Run before he caught it. Yeah. So, incomplete, it'll be second down and 10. Ball at the 15-yard line of the Dirty Blue defense. 28-24 to 24 is the updated score here. It's tightening up, like you said. So, I guess I guess they're saying the defense can't turn the ball over? I guess they, they – yeah, because <laughs> they didn't give in the offense no points. You just get possession of the yeah, ball so, back. Yeah, yeah. So, Either way, it'll be second down and 10 still to go here. Four receivers. Back to pass here. Stafford pumps and moves around in the backfield, throws right, and it is caught. Uh, number two, Quandre Simmons that's with the catch, catch there. Son. Boy, that's good footwork. What's this? Um, and that's good, just good teamwork there yes, by sir. both guys. Stafford able you, to slide look at that out. that arm, arm strong arm. And able to get it right in there. So, uh Good job out there by both guys. It'll be third down and two eight yards on the receiving end by Simmons. Remember what we talked about now. This is situations right here. It's like game time. You want to treat it just like it. You want to get that first down. First down, and uh, we'll see if they can do it. Third and two to go here. Rams get double receivers lined up on the left. And Habersham, the running back, boy, dancing there. Can he get the yard as you need? Need two yards, and Stacked I don't think up. he's going to do it. That's good penetration because those dirty blue defenders were on the ground. And he was trying to dance around them, couldn't do it. And he is going to be short of the first, first down marker. If we look at the replay here, the offensive. They, look at the penetration. He's trying to run around and it's just a, a, a pile pile of big bodies and he couldn't get around them. And good job by the dirty blue defense. Offensive line and get that surge so he can see a, get a crease up in there. We're going to try a field goal or they're going to fourth down. It'll be fourth down, and it looks like the field goal unit is going to come out. So, so field goal worth three points. And this now, there's no defenders, no 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 blockers. So, <laughs> this is going to be they'll spot it down at what the 14, 24 mm-hmm. yard attempt. A gimme, supposedly. Uh, it, well, it should be a gimme if it's only you and your your holder and your snap long snapper out there. We'll see if he can do it. Stephon Whitehead. So here's a snap to place down Whitehead from the right angle. Kick is up, has the distance. It is good. So the offense with three points makes it a 31 to 24 lead over the Dirty Blue defense. Blue and gold spring game at the ASU Coliseum. Well, you, we saw some good stuff that defense. We had the offense got the ball, defense got the ball. Our defense stopped the offense from scoring the touchdown. They got three points. We, we good and bad. That now you got to look at both situations because that's the things you want to work on to have when you look back at it and say, "Hey, this is what we got to do to make sure we score." Pretty good crowd, like you said, Fred. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty good crowd. And, uh, of course, uh, without all the extra amenities that normally come with the game, the band, no cheerleaders. Session stand, yeah, all that. Yeah. 
And then it's the weekend during the springtime. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of people like to go home, go to the beach, do mm -hmm. things like that. So, uh, but a good crowd. I saw some of the old school alums here. Yes, they're here. <laughs> they were outside. They're outside. Definitely. So, uh, 3124 right now. 2017 Golden Rams football season again kicks off on September the 2nd, Valhalla yeah. State. On the ninth, we will travel. We're at home against Valdosta State. We go on the road on the ninth against Tuskegee in the Whitewater Classic, Phoenix City, Alabama. Return home on the 16th against the University of North Greenville. Again, on the road the next two weeks against West Georgia and then Miles. And then we come back home to play Lincoln, Missouri on the October the 7th. Homecoming is October the 14th versus Morehouse. On the road in Atlanta to take on Clark Atlanta. And then the Benedict Tigers and Coach Mike White, Ken Connor, and all our former buddies, former buddies. Demetri McCray. They yeah. come to town on October the 28th. And then we end the season November 4th against the Fort Valley State Wildcats in the Fountain City Classic. And, of course, championship game again, I believe, is still in Montgomery. Montgomery. Uh, so the East versus West. And I don't know if they're going to change the rules this year. But last year it was uh, two, four, and six teams uh, in the championship game. <laughs> Wasn't pretty. <laughs> but Fort Valley won it, so had to give yeah. them credit. They won the SIAC last year. Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, behind us, Wilbur Yancey, one oh, of our yes. big supporters from Atlanta, DeKalb area. So doing a great job. The first ever Sam the Ram joining us. And uh, this guy's always around. So, hey, uh, good to see you, uh, Wilbur. How you doing? Thank you there, Fred. I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing great. You by yourself or is the whole crew down from DeKalb? Uh, no, it's, I brought one from the Atlanta chapter with me, our brother Willie Fussell. And mm -hmm. we traveled down this morning and uh, enjoying ourselves at the game this evening. Looking forward to the reception. Uh, after the game here. All right. All right. I want you to hang around for a minute. Stafford back to pass here on first down. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be caught far side of the field on the receiving end is Aaron Pierce. And first time we call his name today, big first down inside the 35-yard line down to the 34. So uh, a big play there. And, uh, of course, that's going to add some points there for the goal rush offense as they, they lead it over the dirty blue in this big, big spring game. Uh, I want to – Congratulate you and, and the rest of the alumni, especially your DeKalb chapter, on all the great things you guys do. I'm, you know, I'm watching what you do online. I see it in person. Uh, I've seen you at all the events, all the support you've been doing with recruiting, and uh, Habersham will get a nice run there on offense. Uh, but really want to – what does it mean to you as an alum to be able to give back and support your school? Uh, this is something that I've always dreamt of doing and something I'm very dedicated to. And to see our young student athletes and our students in general uh, come in and get a quality education, realizing that they are our future and they're going to make a huge difference, difference in the world. Second and four, Stafford pumps, throws it, and intercepted. Interception, and boy, what a win for the defense. Aaron Davis with the pick, and boy, that's going to be four points coming up. What a big play there, the turnover to stop it. He tried that before, little pump fake, wanted to go to Aaron Pierce, but Davis able to get the, the INT, and that's a big play, and Coach Huff is going to love that. Uh, again, uh, Mr. Yancey, I know you're able to tell your own story. What does it mean to be able to convey that to the young people? I know you're recruiting. You're always talking about Albany State, but you're somebody that – just the way you act and the things you do, you got to just love it from the inside. Yes. Uh, when I came in, and I haven't just started feeling this way, I realized what Albany State did for me. And uh, as a young man coming from Atlanta, coming to a new environment, not knowing what to expect, but Albany State helped mold me. So realizing my personal story and knowing that I can touch someone else and perhaps change their lives around and and make them become a better human being, then I'm all for it. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, we appreciate all that. And, again, uh, I know we had some recruitment uh, events this morning. I don't know if you were doing that on the west side of town. Uh, but, of course, I know you're here for this big game. Yes. And we until – how about this golf team? First ever golf team, and we get it done. We win <laughs> yes, it. I, I yes, don't know, yes. You, I don't yeah. know if you get, got to see them up there at Peachtree City, but uh, first ever year inaugural golf team win the ch uh, SIC championship. I, uh, with what I saw, uh, I expect many, many more. Yeah. Uh, I by, think by a lot of strokes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they messed up with they. Uh, the SIC. We have a team, and uh, the players are great. The coaching is great, and I think we're going to do great things in the future. Right. Uh, 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 the our student athletes, everything is on the uptick. 
And I don't think we're done. We got baseball. Uh, yes. they, they're in the stretch run. Softball is in the mm-hmm. stretch run doing a great job. And then track and field, we're hosting it down here this year. So we got track and field going on the same weekend as commencement. So it, 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 we're looking forward to some championships. We like to win them, but of course, <laughs> it's, it's about, you know, it's beyond that, that degree and all the, the things. So it's, you like to win when you're here. Correct. And you can brag about that, <laughs> but that, that degree can carry you through the rest of your life. And that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, you're here, and everyone is here uh, for a reason. And if perhaps it is uh, becoming a student athlete that gets you in the door. But once you get that degree, your life changes forever. And all I would ask for anyone who's had that opportunity, reach back and give back so we can keep this thing going. And just remember, our kids are our future. That's right. And they and we want to prepare them as best we possibly can to make a difference in the world. All right. Hey, again, thank you for joining us. Okay. I look forward to seeing you on the route. You got and, something else for and me. One, one other yes, thing. Uh, I have recently been uh, selected as chairperson for the National Alumni Association for uh, Homecoming Activities this year. So we are going to do a lot of different things. And uh, as we move closer to football season, I would love to have the opportunity to sit down and speak yeah. with you he, to let you know what's going no on. No sneak peeks. No sneak peeks. You know, all we want is old oh, school. You got an oh, old school uh, concert with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we're, working, we're working on the concert, but I'll tell you what, old school will be back. All so right. All right. I, I look forward to it. Right. <laughs> they got the right, right. man on the job. Wilbur right. Yancey, thank you. You got it. Thank you so right. much, Rat. I appreciate all right. it. All right. We appreciate Wilbur Yancey. Of course, all of our alums, and of course, the DeKalb chapter of the Alumni Association doing a great job. All right, spring <laughs> back to the game. 34 to 28, your score. The Gold Rush offense is on top. And uh, they're going to switch sides again here. Coach Massey. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me get me right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get yourself right. And we get a timeout. Looks like called by the Dirty Blue defense. Timeout on the field there. So there's a lot of good things to hear now. You can relate to Will, but he's yes, on sir. the homecoming committee. I am too. You are. I can tell him. You can tell him. Yes, I'm telling him. We, we you, got meetings coming you, up. You got meetings coming up. We got up. some old school stuff happening. Yeah, that's good. That's, but it's not about old school. No, sir. But there's a lot of old folks like us <laughs> and older <laughs> folks that, 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 that like that. And, they like and that. And that's what it is. It's about alums coming back after decades and decades. And uh, you want to just, you know, have some good and, things. And you know what's, yes. what our problem that we're running into? A venue to have it. A venue because they have the dance at the at the Civic Center, and that's the ideal place to have the old school concert. Mm-hmm. But they, they they're stuck on having the dance, which is great. But do two for one. Keep your ticket. Go to the old school. Pay two for one. You know, say we bring cool in the gang and SOS band, forty five dollars that get you in the in the game in the, uh, the old school concert and. Uh, and the dance. And the dance. Yeah. Okay. Just, but, but you're working on that? You, yeah, we're you, working you on that now. Okay. okay. I like SOS, man. I used to pick up stuff for them when it was in it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, <laughs> back to the action on yeah. the field here. As uh, Ransom and the offense ready to go here. As, uh, boy, Wait, tight coverage there that time. And that's going to be Shingleton all over the intended yeah, receiver. Yeah, because the ball was tipped too now. Yeah, Harris. Now, what did you see? Did you see that interception a moment ago? No, sir. I didn't get yeah, it. You missed it. Running yeah. my mouth there. Yeah, that's okay. But yeah. it, it was like he he tried to pump fake again and, and go over the top to Pierce and that and Aaron Davis was able to step under it and made a nice play over there. So uh, uh, and that was on the you know last possession. Okay, went to the well and, and couldn't get no water that play. Big play here now, second down. Second and ten, going from right to left, back to pass. Stafford, the quarterback, and Harris, boy, he is. He was the leading receiver, and he's been the leading target, I think, today. Takevian Harris is going to pick up the first down, and they will spot it at about the 36-yard line. It'll be first and 10, and they all rack up some more points. Fred, that's a big play there because he two guys tried to tackle this guy, and he got loose and got enough for the first down. That's a good momentum builder right there. Let's see if we keep maintaining. We're going on the clock, 149, right? We're on the two-minute drills. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, we're in the two-minute drill now. So, in the fourth quarter, two-minute drill is going on now. The clock is moving, a minute 49 to go. And now I want to thank St- uh, Stamper, Charles Stamper, for updating us back to pass. And it's going to be complete to Harris. Harris trying to look for running room, breaks free, and finally able to be stopped there on the tackle, number five, Terrence Harris. 
but he's right at midfield, and the clock will stop momentarily to move the chain gang a minute 40 to go. So we're in the fourth quarter now, and the fourth quarter is two two-minute drills. First one underway as Stafford is ready to go here at midfield, wants to throw it out in the flat. He gets his running back. Habersham, who'll get out of bounds at the 48 couple of yards, but the big thing is got out of bounds and stopped the clock. Yeah, and I like how the Stafford is thinking in there on that play before that. He did a good job. He drilled that guy in the middle of the field and made a good reception. 36-28, goal rush offense on top, and eight yards to go here. Second down and eight. Ball resting just inside midfield at the blue 48-yard line. Rams get the signal in from the sideline. You'll join our offensive coordinator uh, making the calls over there. And we're ready to go here. On second down as the quarterback will roll right. He will throw it out there. Rodell Shorter saw that before. Okay, what did he do? He tried to run before he got the ball. He got to, got to do what for? He got to catch, catch the it. ball. Got to catch he was the ball. gone, man. He, he, and that ball hit him right in the bread basket. <laughs> if you look at the, the replay, the ball was right where? Right there, in the basket. I mean, right there. And he probably heard that guy tipping up on him, too, when he tried to turn and make a move. And that's unfortunate for the young man. Come back and make a play. It'll be third and eight coming up here for Albany State. Goal rush offense, 36-28. Eight-point lead, and we're in the fourth quarter here. So we have one more possession coming up after this, and that's going to wrap up this blue and gold spring game. Emmanuel Brown will check out for the dirty blue defense. Back to pass, Stafford on third down. What a catch, first down, 35-30, and down at about the 28-yard line. Quadre Simmons, what a big catch. That ball was out there, and he really caught that all hands, Coach. All hands, and that's a good pass by, by Stafford right there in the seam. Got him in the seam. And when I say seam, it's between two defenders right there. Right, right, right there. Mm-hmm. Look like a little skinny post right over there on that side. So, mm-hmm. big time. So, a timeout. And we get a, what, timeout? And we actually timeout. had a loss on the play there. So, with a tackle for loss, I believe that, that is going to be a point coming up for the defense. And, Fred, on, on that particular play right there, that's where you want to make corrections. Now, you, you're not in a hurry. You, you got timeouts. You got a minute and ten. You ran the play. We weren't successful with it. Now that puts you back at second and ten. Instead of you know, you want to go north and south, especially going with this clock, two right. minute drill. Right. So they're at the point on is thirty eight to twenty nine right now, and uh, the Albany State offense will talk about it inside the two minute drill. A minute eighteen to go here, and the next time we uh, next possession will start with a minute thirty on the clock. clock. So one thirty on the clock. Okay. I see Coach Huffy down there doing the one. No, that Coach Huffy on the sideline right there. He, he usually be up in that huddle right there. But I'm, I'm impressed what we've seen. Now, we we got a lot of guys that are doing a lot of good things right now, especially with the offense. We're opening it up a little bit more. So, this is big here. It's, yeah. Uh, second down 11, ball resting right at the 30-yard line. And the Gold Rush offense with a long conversation over there. Dirty Blue defense had one on their sideline. We'll see what the strategy is here. Definitely a passing situation in the two-minute drill here. Four receivers. Back to pass. Stafford waits. Going to throw it far side of the field and incomplete. And Quadre Simmons able to try to shake loose from the, the defender over there with the coverage, Robert Hicks. And Quadre Simmons with a little battle. And... Ball just a little bit out of his reach. Yeah. It'll be third down 11. Just a little bit. He couldn't couldn't get that good defense by the because he tried to down it up, you know, up then couldn't get it to him. 112 to go on yeah. the clock. And Stafford will come in from the sideline with the instructions. And the Albany State offense will be ready to go here. So, Quadre Simmons checks out of the ball game. And we got a bunch package, four receivers, two on each side, bunch together, third down 11. Stafford will step up in the pocket, throw it underneath. Harris on the receiving end, and he runs out of room. Only got a yard, maybe back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's just good defense. They sealed him off, and he couldn't get out around the corner. It'll be fourth down, and – with this being a two-minute drill, they're going to go for this. 56 yeah. seconds on the clock, timeout. So, fourth down, 
It's big play coming yeah, up here. Very big. Now they got to – because if you don't, the, the defense gets points for that from the very for stopping the oh, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the second and last time out. So they got to at least pick up the first down uh-huh. and and get out of bounds. Or it, well, Either way, they got 56 seconds on the clock and it's fourth and 10. Uh-huh. And, and Fred, we failed to mention in a couple of weeks, graduation, isn't it? In graduation. Oh, yeah. May 6th. May 6th. And, and the, the, the the track and field championship That weekend. That weekend. And we so. got a couple of them uh, graduating. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be tough. Yeah. But, well, yeah, but I think maybe the events will be later in the day. They can okay. go walk across the stage and go Get that degree. And, and help us win that championship later on that day. But okay. that, but that's a big, big to have it hosted here. Yeah, that's uh, a lot yeah. of revenue there yeah. for the city. Yeah, and, and and all the teams will be coming in. So track and field, and they'll be using Hugh Mill Stadium and Albany State's uh, stadium for and the field And those dates are 4th, f- 5th, and 6th. They get here on the 4th. Starts the 5th, 6th. Yeah, fourth, I believe that Thursday, that Thursday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes. Big play. And Stafford on fourth down, oh, intercepted. And on the return. And uh-uh. still running at uh-uh. the 40 uh-uh. and finally <laughs> tackled. <laughs> Number 80. Yeah, Rodell Shorter with the tackle on the pick over there is Robert Hicks. So they're going to get four points for the turnover. They would have got seven points if he got in the end zone. Coach that would have been 11 points. Number 80 was on this side of the field. He, he ran that guy that down. Some, Can you replay that again? I want to see number 80. Well, nobody peeled back. Nobody. And looked for him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's a good job by Rodell Shorter not giving up, but a big play by the defense, and that's going to close it, <laughs> close the gap. He missed so. out. Oh, that was pretty. That, he, he, that joker ran pretty good, yeah. So we'll be heading now to the, the last two-minute drill coming up. It's actually a minute 30 coming up. So uh, th- it'll be 1.30 on the clock. Okay. One timeout. The ball will be at the 50-yard line, and, and this will be the last possession. And either the clock will run out or one team will, will get stopped or not, and that's going to wrap it up for the Blue and Gold Spring game. So, again, we look forward to the season coming up. Shortly. One more time with that, Fred. Got an injured player out there uh, being worked on by the training staff. One more time with that that, that season over. It's on you, Coach. Oh man, Valdosta State on the on the second big game for us. Tuskegee always a big game for the Rams. Going to Phoenix City, Alabama. Then we got the University of North Greenville. Then we play them a couple of years back. The, uh, Crusaders. The, yeah, the Crusaders. Remember, remember the playoff game. Yeah, that's sure that. Did. Yeah, they sure handed did. it to us that year. Yeah, they. Two thousand eleven. Remember, yeah, we took took us out behind the shed and and, and yeah. gave us something. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we us. but we got them back that next year. Yeah, we sure did. Right, but go ahead, coach. University of West Georgia, up and coming program. They were ranked high all year last year. Uh, Miles got always a tough game, especially in Fairfield, Alabama. Uh, we went over there one year. We had about well, how many possessions? They had one or two. <laughs> we had one or two possessions. <laughs> Tough ball game. Coach Smith, you know he's going to have his folks ready when he come here. And uh, never played this team, have we? Universal. I believe this may be the first one. Yeah. First one. And, and I don't want to have a return trip next year. I don't want to. <laughs> <that's a long laughs> no. Way. Morehouse College, that's that's big coming up. That's that's their home, home our homecoming. Clark Atlanta. Uh, Benedict, Coach White and the crew. And then the big one. Yeah. And everybody likes to go to Fort Valley. Yeah, the so, big one. And it's a good uh, if you want to travel. We don't really have uh, uh, that far to go. No. Phoenix, Phoenix City, Carrollton, Georgia, Fairfield, Alabama, Atlanta, and Columbus. That's really it. Those that's are the road it. trips. Those are the road so, yeah, trips. Yeah, that's, that's 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 a good thing. And um, so we're looking forward to the 2017 season. Five home games, five mm-hmm. road games, and uh, hopefully a game in the championship game, and and maybe some postseason. We'll see. But depends. These first five at the gate. Are really gonna make a break. Yeah, find out exactly where we are. Yeah, and I want to also mention the banquet. Now it's Thursday. Thursday, uh, the yeah. all sports banquet is Thursday. You know what I've done? I, I did, did my bit. Yeah, I got it. Did. You the man. You're the man. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for all you did. Yeah, man. And all yeah. you've done. You've been recognized. I know you don't like to talk about it, uh-uh. but you've been recognized by those that know uh, for all the support that you've given over the years to not just athletics, just the Albany State. Albany State. Yeah, as as another proud alum that, mm-hmm. that that's always giving back. And done things that people didn't realize get done. How yeah. did this happen? Yeah, you know. And and, and I don't look for bragging. It's just you know giving yeah, back. Just yeah. you know, you, you you it's almost you can't train that. Mm-mm. You can't teach that. Mm-mm. People just have that in them, and you're just one of those special people yeah. to have it in them. Got to so have it in you. We to appreciate do it. that, Coach Massey. All right, we got a minute. Well, they ain't changed the clock yet, Fred. It's still two minutes up there. Yeah. So, I think it's supposed to be one thirty. One thirty. Uh, I think is it one thirty on the clock. And yeah, they're gonna get reset at the one thirty at midfield. Oh, back to and oh. Stafford, and the ball is gonna be 
out of bounds. And he's able to get that ball. I was able to complete Ooh. that pass there to Chris Hunt. The Watch this end. now. Watch this. So Ooh. able to get away from Aaron Davis on the corner blitz and get it complete to the tight end. A couple of yards on the play, but that's just a, a, a good job. <laughs> Didn't panic, Fred, yeah. when you saw the pressure coming. Good job. So 126 on the clock, and this is the final possession of the spring game today here. It'll be second down and six, four yards on the play. Ball is at the 46-yard line of the Dirty Blue defense. 39 to 38. Is that right? Yeah, 39 38. Okay. And on the run there, we'll pick it up. That's Bolden on the carry there. Mm -hmm. So Lorenzo Bolden is going to run it there. But a timeout, though, uh, is used. And that, that's going to be for the helmet coming off. So I believe that was the reason for the stoppage of play. So the clock right now with 120 will start back winding a minute and night. Well, we'll get it going in just a minute. 119 and going. It'll be third and three coming up. Back to pass. Stafford again under oh. pressure. Going to throw it out in the flat. Get Bolden. And the defense, boy, what Ooh. a big job. Nick Scott. Along with number five, Terrence Harris closed the Ooh. door over there. It looked, Look at this one for it. It looked pretty initially, but Bolden ran into two blue jerseys. He couldn't get Bam. away from either one of them. Good job there. Good job. So the dirty blue defense with a big play there. And they're down to fourth down. So this is it. It'll come down to fourth down with 108 to go. And mm -hmm. the offense wants to talk about it. They'll take a timeout. Big play right here. Yes, it is. This now. could be the last play of the game. Right here, Fred. And, and, and right here – even this is a spring game, is a big play for these guys because you're playing for steak or uh, hot dogs after the game. <laughs> Am I correct? Yeah. So you want to make sure you get the, the on the same page. And I know Coach Kelly is, is very proud of these guys. And I'm, I'm going to give him an accolade again because I, I know Coach Kelly for a long time. And uh, he's done a lot of things for these kids in the summer, our summer program. And he's done some stuff for us. And he's a great guy to be around. And uh, I, it, 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 he's a great coach does a good job on the collegiate level. I think he's a real good coach at this level, and he gets what he can get out of those kids. Yeah, yeah. Coach Kelly, uh, like I said, a class act. Yeah. Uh, and he just cares. If you just have a, guy. you have a conversation with him, he just cares. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's done so much. And uh, big-time executive over there with Miller Coors. Exactly. And he's still has always found time to work a schedule where he could still be a part of the program, the program. and get Albany State. Yes, he has. Whether he was getting paid or not. Yes, he has. Yeah. So and, and I know sometimes he wasn't getting paid. He yeah. was out of the heart. Oh, yeah. 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 He's one of Hamp Smith's Mississippi guys. Yeah, Mississippi. Yeah, Hampton Smith, out of, straight out of Mississippi, but definitely a great guy. Coach Anthony Kelly, interim head coach here during the spring. And so 39-39, that is the updated score. We're tied in the game. Fourth down, big play. Charles Stafford, will this be the end? And it's Good caught. Catch. And did he get the first down? Yes, he did. He got the first down. So the first down, boy, by – about two inches. It'll be first down at the 40, just inside the 40-yard line. The goal <laughs> rush offense. <laughs> wow. With the first down, they lead it by a point, 40 to 39. Back to pass on first down. Over the Ooh. middle, Rodell Shorter. Ooh. Boy, he glad he got his head still on him. Boy, Ooh. a big hit by Emmanuel Brown. And the clock moving with 52 seconds to go, boy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he lined that up. <laughs> Yeah, big time hit there, Brown. It's, uh... Second down and eight at the 38-yard line. Clock moving with 39 seconds to go. Pass he is dropped. dropped on the near side over here. Number 85, the intended target, Audrey Brown. It'll be quickly third and eight coming up. He tried to turn the corner without the ball. That's what happened. He didn't keep catching, looking in. 40 to 39 to score. A one point lead for the offense, and the defense still has a chance here. Yeah, they if they do. can make some kind of a play. Uh, They're getting a the timeout. Yeah. The defense is. So, defense is going to go ahead and use a timeout with 36 seconds to go. Only one timeout each, so that's it. That's it. Offense use one, defense use, use one. one. That's no it. No more timeout. No more timeout. 36 so seconds. This, the, on the this it right here. Yeah, this, this is, is it. it. And, and all of the coaching staff, Fred, I know you, uh, some of the guys I see them all the time, and you'll join them, and, and, uh, and the rest of the crew, they worked hard. and and had these guys ready to play today. Now, you got to give them hats off now. Yeah. You got to do that. And because, like I say, this should have been over with a month ago, uh -huh. but we had the delay. Uh, uh -huh. Sanford Hall uh, shut down to be repaired, and uh, so we couldn't get going back in March, March. early and, and get it done then. And then with Coach Land leaving, 
it, we knocked the practice back a couple of weeks, and exactly. then that was after spring break. But they, they 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 really worked hard to motivate these guys, get them to work hard. I, I get to see it a lot every day. I'm working over in the gym, working with them, yeah. and uh, you know, with the academic side and doing things. And you can just you know see the other side, and you get just to see and talk to them every day. You can mm-hmm. just tell the passion they have for yeah. it. Yeah. So they did a great job, and this is it. Uh, we are down to 36 seconds to go. No timeouts left. Big play. Third and eight. Ball is at the 38-yard line. Stafford with four receivers ready to go. Here Back to pass Stafford. Throw it. And it's going to be caught. Quadre Simmons lateral. And oh, he can't. <laughs> and they're ready for it. <laughs> Emmanuel Brown makes the play. Out of bounds. It'll be fourth down with 30 seconds to go. They drew up the <laughs> lateral. And, and, and Emmanuel Brown made a big time play. Yes, he play. did, man. Wow. Wow. Yes, he did. <laughs> Yes, he did. So this is it. It's coming down to fourth down. We only have 30 ticks to go on the clock. So this uh, – now, I tell you what, if the defense makes the stop, they're going to win it. Well, it. well, if they make a stop, what is it? If they make a defensive stop – they Well, they ain't going. The referee's leaving yeah. for it. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, without the officials, right? Yeah. They, 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 they do, do they have a van on the field? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it. So, we believe the final is going to be 40-39. to 39. I thought it would be a fourth down play coming up, but that's going to wrap it up. So, the 2017 Blue and Gold Spring game comes to an end. The Gold Rush offense is going to win by point, 40-39 to 39 over the Dirty Blue defense. But, Coach Massey, what did you see on both sides of the ball? Well, I, I, you always got work to do. And, and I saw some – Stafford looks good. He looks good. I know he's going to get better when they come back and, and he's going to work hard during the summer. And, and – the most important thing, they got to catch the ball before you run with the ball because we've had several drops like that. So that's that needs to be worked on and get more offensive linemen. I, I, I'm impressed. I, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give them a 7. Right. So, again, that is going to do it. Uh, 40 to 39, the spring game is concluded here on two th- in 2017, and we uh, look forward to off season. And these guys will come in. The new recruits will come in in August, and we'll do it for real come September the 2nd. So we'll run through the schedule one yeah. more time, and we're going to wrap it up. So, again, the Golden Rams 2017 schedule coming up on September the 2nd, home game against Valdosta State. That's the first game of the year at 7 o'clock. On September 9th, we'll take on Tuskegee University in Phoenix City, Alabama, the Whitewater Classic, 5 p.m. Eastern time start. Then we come home again on September 16th against the University of North Greenville. That'll be a 7 o'clock start. We take two road trips after that on September 23rd at West Georgia. And then on September 30th, we'll be at Miles College, returning home October the 7th against the University of Lincoln. That's Steve Smith's team. And homecoming is October the 14th. We'll be hosting Morehouse, uh, 2 o'clock kickoff. We go to Atlanta the following week, the 21st, taking on Clark Atlanta. Returning home against the Benedict Tigers on the 28th of October. Coach Mike White and friends coming home to play the Rams that day. And we end the season in Columbus against Fort Valley, the Fountain City Classic, on November the 4th. The 2017 season. Coming up, again, want to congratulate uh, the guys. For, uh, a good showing yeah. today. Want to, uh, again, acknowledge the coaching staff, Aunt Kelly, uh, the interim head coach, doing a great job with the team, as well as uh, all of the assistants, uh, Chris Henderson, Ewell Joyner, uh, Kareem Hess, Coach Huff. Uh, Alex Williams, Coach Huff, uh, everybody that does a lot, the work, all the trainers and all the people behind the scenes that do all the work. Uh, with Water this girls, team. Yeah, everything. Everybody. So, again, I want to thank you, Coach Matt. Yeah, man. You, anytime, any place. It's Ram time almost. And our partner over there, we'll see if he's going to be PA come, announcing uh, uh, come, uh, <laughs> come, 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 come the fall. But we, I hear you. We, yeah, we'll get with Norman again. So, we, we look to see Norman in the booth with us. In September. Again, I want to thank Eric Tabor yeah. Sr., Eric Tabor Jr., Junior. Eric Tabor, of course, from the IT department, and that's his son. Uh, this young man Running doing a great job behind the here. scenes. So they did a great job, and that's going to do it. You're finally here from Albany, Georgia, the Albany State University Coliseum. The Blue and Gold Spring Game is done. The goal win it by a point, 40 to 39. And until the season kicks off, we say so long and go Rams. I hear him in the background. <laughs>